Hello everybody, it's Suki, and uh, welcome back to the Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. It's been uh, it's been quite a few months since uh, since the last uh, last uh, video I did on this character, huh? And uh, since then, Stormblood has obviously released, and with Stormblood, there's been an, uh, quite a few changes to uh, the jobs and the uh, well. There's been a lot of abilities that we've lost. I, I had to uh, go ahead and remove a lot of stuff on my hotbar and it looks really empty right now. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. But, for the most part, uh, Ninja is in a pretty good spot right now. I've been enjoying it uh, on my main character. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that leveled up on this character. But, of course, we're still quite a bit away. <laughs> from that we're still uh, stuck on rogue level 25 but uh, good news is we get alien edge next level so there we go for that we did lose mutilate though so that's unfortunate but yeah without further ado let's get on with it so it's been quite a while since I played on this character so uh gonna have to remember what it is I was doing last and uh, any other changes I suppose that pop up that uh, have occurred since Stormblood I guess one thing we should probably point out is that cross roll abilities are gone instead now we have this roll action system and really we don't have anything particularly useful in here uh, diversion is completely useless once we level up a bit in ninja uh, arms length pretty situational uh, get a stun out from lake sweep and then we already had second win and invigorate which uh, funny thing I think we spent like a couple hours leveling Lancer to 34 right to get blood for blood completely pointless now doesn't matter because we don't get blood for blood on ninja anymore so that's fun but yeah I think uh, yeah I think main story is over in uh, South Trout so why don't we continue with that? So I'm not entirely sure uh, how m much I'm going to be playing on this character. I just thought I'd hop on this character since I haven't done so in a while. Just kind of take a breather from everything else I've been doing. It's been a lot of, a lot of stuff on my old characters or my older characters. A lot of stuff. Destiny 2 and all that, so. Fun times. Sometimes you just need to take a little break, you know? And by take a little break, I mean go do it all over again on a third character. Oh, actually, something we should. Uh, I forgot I picked up a bunch of stuff from my mail earlier. Should probably use all this stuff. Yeah, this is from. My Stormblood Collector's Edition stuff, I believe. Oopsie. Oh, uh... uh, yes. We also have these Alamican earrings. So this came with Stormblood. I think uh, just if you pre-ordered it, I believe. You don't have to like get a special edition or anything. But yeah, this is going to be extremely helpful because it's going to give us basically 30% EXP for the next 25 levels. So I'll uh, go ahead and equip that, why don't we? Plus it's a uh, pretty decent stats, you get 5 of pretty much everything. All the main stats anyway. Also accuracy is uh, completely obliterated from the game. Uh, instead we have direct hit rate, which is a pretty solid stat for, uh, for DPS purposes. It's pretty much the main stat for most jobs in terms of DPS and now instead as long as you are the same level as the enemy you are fighting you have 100% accuracy and if you try to fight something that's higher level than you then tough luck cause there's no there's no other way of, uh, <laughs> of increasing your accuracy and chance to hit them so ah oh, yes we're trying to find the Sylph Elder I remember this part of the story. Oopsie. 
And then we'll just skip in through most of these side quests text unless they're particularly interesting which these ones aren't so what do we got so before we forget actually what is this oh uh, yes it's for our main quests that should be later on should be uh, soon-ish, kind of. Not, not really. Probably be a few videos from now still. And also, let's get our chocobo out. Still not his favorite feed. I should really look up how to change favorite feed, because I vaguely recall doing that quite often. Yeah, you turn down the volume on. Earphones. Man, it feels so weird being tiny. So what abilities does my trick will have? Yeah. I think I've just been specking him into healing. Which I might just go all the way into healing actually. Get that white mage farting. And then maybe use like a Thavnerian onion to give him a couple DPS abilities. Is this uh This is the quest where we like dump water on the drunk guy, right? funny I've been leveling up my um, my alt which I'm gonna be doing samurai monk on uh, Luana and uh, there's a very similar quest to this in uh, one of the new uh, main cities I don't know if that's really considered a spoiler at this point is it really a spoiler to say that we go to a certain city at some point? I don't know. I honestly don't. I shall refrain, though. Uh... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll skip out on that. You gave me a chicken egg? Oh wait, you know what? I think we actually do need this chicken egg uh, to give to one of the quiggerns for a quest. I don't know if that happened already. That might actually be why he gave us a chicken egg. But you could also just buy a chicken egg from one of the vendors in uh, Hawker's Alley. So let's finish up the side quest here. He wants us to go to, yeah, Limsa. Oh, is this the one where you get those like really big chigos and they just keep getting larger and larger? I thought this quest was kind of funny when I first did it. Bigger chigos. I think the next one is even bigger Chigos. I hope I'm, you know, it doesn't even matter if I'm pronouncing it right, like. Yep. Let's 
So I guess arm's length, which is kind of a weird thing. It's kind of like Haymaker, except it doesn't do damage. But uh, it can be used as kind of uh, mitigation for when we're just doing solo stuff out here. But that's assuming whatever we're attacking will live long enough for it to actually mitigate anything. Because it's like a 15% like slow or something, or 20% slow. Oh, there's the B rank. Okay, let's... Yeah, I didn't think so. I think we need to aggro this. Oh, so another thing that's totally going to be fun when we get to it uh, next year. Probably, actually, will be next year. Who knows? But, um, been, uh, like I said, I've been doing things on one of my other alternate characters. And uh, something that was absolutely fun to do again, Aether Currents. So, and we have, we have to do Aether Currents for both expansions. <laughs> so... Yeah, fun. Sometimes I, I just wonder why. Why do I have so many characters for? I, I don't even, you don't even need multiple characters for this game for, for the most part. I mean, there's some benefits uh, outside of just, you know, being able to do it all again and being able to play a different race, but there's a couple benefits that you can Get around like weekly lookout or lookouts, uh, lockouts and stuff. Like how we just pour soup onto this antelope. Oh yeah, I forgot we actually have a hunting log. That's here. That's also here. Silent Arbor, that's like down here, isn't it? Is it? No, that's over here. Yeah. Alright, well. Might as well grab these since they're here. Watch this be uh, something we need to kill for a quest later. I mean, it's worth it to get to get Alien Edge as fast as possible. Make this uh, a lot less painful. Go by a little bit quicker, and uh, well, you'd be surprised how how much getting the third part of your combo actually manages to keep combat uh, not boring. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that they, uh, with all the job changes they they made that they didn't they didn't make it so that you got your your third part of your combo faster for for most of these jobs. Like freaking Marauder slash Warrior doesn't even get Butcher's Block until level 30 after their class quest, so that sucks. Okay, what was I looking at? This. So these are both up here. Southern Thanalan. Yeah, we do make a weird little sidetrack into Southern Thanalan later. I think that's in between uh, Toto Rock and Hawk Manor. Anyways, these uh, are they red bellies or coral claws? Yeah, but they're over here. Red bellies. Okay, let's uh, try to pull them. He's gonna shield bash me, isn't he? Yep. I 
remember back some drops you needed like four of these and like these are the only place where they really spawn outside of like certain fates in the area so <laughs> back uh, back when you know at launch people would be all over here aggroing everything it was like impossible to get your hunting log done it took forever because uh, everyone was fighting for whichever ones respawned I mean now most of these zones are pretty barren heck even going through the uh, the storm blood zones on my my other character uh, it's pretty empty but I mean to be fair those zones are huge and there's flying so I mean once you unlock flying there's really no reason to be on the ground anymore oh we're almost there almost got that aeolian edge Piles of antelope umbles. So that's basically code for go, go, go kill stuff. Gotcha. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure how much stuff I'm going to do in this video. I would like to, as usual, get down a section of quests that make sense, but I also don't have a whole lot of time, so hopefully it's not going to be like an hour long. Annoying me, it probably, probably wouldn't surprise me if it ends up being that way. Should get Alien Edge from this quest turning. In fact, we might just get it from killing the enemies themselves, the XP. Because we got rested XP, we got, was it like 25% from the circlet? 20%. Then we got the food, which is another 3%. We got my company buff, which is 10%. Then we got the 50% from the earrings, and then there's also the brand new ring, so then there's this, I mean, it's a lot, 253% bonus experience. Yep, there we go, Alien Edge. Fantastic. So it's also... Put it right here, I guess. Might as well, right? It's a funny thing about Alien Edge. They actually buffed it for when we are um, soloing. So I think when we were soloing, it only did like 260 potency uh, if you didn't get the rear combo. Now it does 280, so I mean, extra quality of life thing, I suppose. this up here oh yeah we have to go pray to that tree I remember this one Try not to aggro too many unnecessary things. Oh, you know what I did forget is that um, hide's actually useful now for ninjas, although it's not very useful for us yet. But uh, basically, hide resets your ninjutsu. So once we do unlock ninja and get our ninjutsu's unlocked, it will be quite handy. actually going to go ahead this is where I have hide on my where is it on my main character so there we go again not particularly useful yet in fact 
when we change the ninja, all of our hotbars are gonna get reset anyway. We're gonna have to do them all over, so. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh yes, I forgot also. Should probably have sprint. This is one of the changes that really kinda sucks for uh for us and that's uh sprint had its cooldown increased to sixty seconds. So you know now it takes three times as long. Uh the upside to that is that it no longer costs TP, so when you're actually fighting uh, you can actually pop sprint and not not run out of TP. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I was looking for in that those menus. Just kept pressing start over and over again. Oh, I don't know if I showed this. The cloud. This was like an Amazon promotion thing like quite a few months ago. I also get like this pretty nice Eastern attire looking stuff. Yeah, this mount, pretty silly, but I mean, I don't have a whole lot of mounts. Guess there's, this is the one for the Stormblood Collector's Edition. I don't actually use this a whole lot, but you know. It's special. Let's see who can't lose these. Oh, hey. River Yarzons. Those are here. Oh. Might as well. We already aggroed one. Hey, look. We need three of them. Perfect. There we go. I mean, I suppose it's better than nothing, right? I mean, there's a little bit of mitigation, I suppose. Oh, does Juggalate still stun? I don't think it does. Yeah, just silence. Because they got rid of, um,. Got rid of poisons as well. It's now just automatically on, I think. Yeah. Yes, your poison. Basically, your poisons are just on by default now. So you no longer can choose what your jugulate does. Because so I think by default, uh, jugulate stunned. Yeah, I figured that would happen. And then if you use uh, Kiss the Viper, it changed it to silence. Alright, so I don't feel like bringing up the uh, emote menu. I actually considered buying one of the uh, the Chocobo Bardings on the Mog Station because you got like the Devil one and uh, the Angel one or whatever. Wanted the Devil one for this character, but uh, never got around to it. Maybe I will sometime soon. Alright, looks like we finished up all these quests, so let's head to... Uh, we'll just use an 8th right ticket. I forgot I actually don't have like a ton of 8th right tickets on this character, so maybe I should be using those a little bit more sparingly. Hawker's Alley, that's right.
Yep, that's why he gave us a chicken egg. I I don't think the that quest used to give us a chicken egg, to be honest. I think you, you had to just find one yourself. By find one yourself, I mean just go buy it off of one of the vendors in the area. Man, I remember just the most trivial things about this the main quest. Like, let's see, who would have it? Not the die longer. I don't think so. Not you. Weinberg. Is that a person? It is a person. Independent culinary. Nope. Be the tradecraft person then. You. You have a chicken egg. Yep, see? That's where you used to have to buy it from. Hey, look, RMTs. Fun. Oh, you know, I think actually we still have our level 25, yeah, level 25 road class to do. Oh yeah, this takes us, uh, wow, this takes us to freaking upper Lenosha. Well, the first half of upper Lenosha. Camp Bronze Lake is much later, like level, like the early 30s to mid 30s. Huh. So I might actually just end the video once we get to Upper Lenosha. Because it's uh, actually been quite a bit of time. Hey, look, it's Dark Helmet. It's another B rank. We'll see how many side quests are here. I don't. Do I have anything in my hunting log for here? There isn't too many side quests, and I can probably just fit it into this video. Yeah, here's your stupid earring. I don't think we stay in uh, in Upper Lenosha too long, so we'll just do this stuff for now. to avoid unnecessary confrontation here. Uh, yeah, let's try to avoid unnecessary confrontation there especially. Yeah, this is working out real great. Oh boy. Let's see, can I actually make it through here without getting mauled? That is the question. Okay, let's just... Yep, alright. Good to go.
That is not a B rank, that is very much an A rank, and if it does aggro me, it will probably kill me very quickly. Yeah, mitigation. Yeah, paralysis. I remember why I hate fighting these now. Dodge the paralysis. Oh, come on. Come on. More off already, so it's okay. Okay, can I actually get to where I need to get to without this aggroing me? Don't kill me. I swear, if he turns around right when I... Okay, good. We're in the clear, I think. Yeah. Let's go this way. And I am just finding all the hunts today. Like, I was trying to find, like, an A rank in the Stormblood areas. For, like, just a cap before, you know, the week ended my my weekly tomes and I just could not like spend like like almost an hour and I uh, could not find anything so it was fun so I just did try roulette instead is this thing gonna follow me down here it is oh hi all right well Actually, probably should have grabbed this one last. Cause now I have to climb back up. Ugh. You can probably guess it's not exactly the smoothest climb. There's one up on this. Oh, they're both up here. Alright. Works for me. Oh, wow. Okay. Really? Yeah. Run. No, why are you fighting? Ah, oh, whatever. see then we could have just jumped down here grabbed that and then we can actually just like hop off the ledge and be perfectly fine exactly where we need to be it's how it should have been done anyway so here's your fossils please tell me this is the last quest you got thanks There's no kill option? Well, I mean. 
Actually, you know what? I actually have level 26 stuff. In fact, this circle is completely useless now, so I shouldn't actually be wearing it anymore. Yeah, let's let's not do that. My beautiful hair. We got these to put on, and uh, I think that's all I got. Yep, right, we should be good to go. Yep, alright. Good to go. And now we're heading back to Bus Guru and Seat. Wasn't that long of a little diversion. I uh, wonder how far away we are from uh, Total Rock. Let's see, Total Rock should be like the first, like one of the first level 24 quests. And this quest is 23, so pretty close, actually. Pretty close. And all these side quests, these are for later when we actually come to Quarry Mill. Yeah, we might actually be really close, actually. If you look at the complete. This might best be a good idea to unlock Total Rack before the video ends. I've got, got a little bit of extra time left. go he brought you some wine just gonna do a couple more main story quests see if I can't get total rock unlocked and then uh, we'll have total rock and also the level 25 road quest to do and uh, these things are bothering me don't want to fight them but they're aggroing me and I won't be able to look at the destinations while they're attacking me so I have to kill them and they would have lived perfect lives standing here in the forest just walking back and forth for all eternity if they just didn't aggro me come on really did you not just see what I did to the other two whatever I'm just gonna run away Can't hop through that gap in the trees. Everything is just aggro me today. Where's this destination? It's like in here. It's on the other side of the log, I think.
arm's length and actually trigger there. I swear, if you, you're gonna aggro me. No, nope. well, you were actually looking the other way that time as I run into debris. <sighs> we are quite a ways away from, uh, Yeah, we are. So we're going to end the video here because I remember this entire quest line. So, yeah. I think next time we'll finish this up, get Total Rock unlocked, and then uh, maybe also do some more stuff in uh, the Rogue quest line. We'll see. We'll see what happens next video. Thank you all for watching. I'm not entirely sure also <laughs> when I'll actually get to record more on this character, but uh, hopefully I can fit this in every now and then uh, until things start to settle down and get all my jobs leveled up and everything. And there's a lot less extra stuff to do on my other characters, but we'll see what happens. So thank you all for watching. It's been a while. Uh, it's been a nice change of pace uh, hopping back on this character. And uh, well, <laughs> We didn't do a whole lot, and uh, but it was it was fun, I guess. So, looking forward to actually getting this character leveled up and uh, getting to all the fun stuff later on once we start getting to the 50s and onwards. So, please look forward to it. Till then, thank you all for watching. Leave comments and likes, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, not too long from now. Hopefully not like a few months, maybe maybe a week or two, or maybe even a few days, who knows. I should stop talking. Sayonara. Bye-bye.